Hello everyone. <laughs> oh god, that's such a bad voice crack. Hello everyone, this is Nice Guy and welcome to my new playthrough for Pokemon Legends Arceus. I did buy this game like the week it came out. It came out January 28th, 2022, but today is September 12th, 2024, and yeah, I never gone around to it because it's not exactly a mainline game, but I'm playing this now because you need this game in order to get your own Hisuian Pokemon certain ones. So what we're created on the screen, choose a language. We're going to be playing in English. Whenever you see now saving, oh, you can disable autosave. Welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. It is well that thou art here. I am that which humans call Arceus. I am not Arceus, Arceus. Now I wish to know thine appearance. What is thy name? As usual, it's gonna be Jason. I always use my actual name for Pokemon games. And this game will be no different. Is this correct? Yes! Jason. Soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. Yo, Arceus is our Pokemon professor. How epic, Jason. Take out all Pokemon and thou shalt find me once more. No, our phone. We need the dopamine. We cannot live without it. Wow, first impression, really great visuals. I really like the visuals. Wake up! Oh, do wake up, won't you? What? Hey, yo, it's the starters already as soon as we wake up. Are you alive, my boy? Um, pretty sure. Who are you? I am playing this blind. I think I mentioned that already, so I don't know. I don't remember many of the characters. You gave me quite the shock falling from the sky, but thank goodness you seem unharmed. Who are you? That's more important. I'd like to ask you the same. I mean, you fell from the sky, you understand. Come now. Who in the world does that? I must say, your clothing is unusual. You wouldn't happen to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? I doubt it. So... We're directly teleported into the past. I see you seem to be in a bit of a pickle. Now I don't know if I'm gonna super cut this series like... Reading every single dialogue. I'm sure it's not important. <laughs> it's kind of boring. Even in the mainline games. 
don't know anyone here, you don't even know where to spend the night. It's a proper pickle. Are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? I don't know what to do. I have zero survival instincts. I'll die out there. In fact, that's probably easier than surviving. <laughs> These three Pokemon belong mysterious belong to you? But they ran away from you. Have you been, have you been mistreating them? Is that why they're running away? Hmm. Now you rouse my suspicion even more. I haven't even introduced myself. My name is uh, Laventon. 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 So many ways to pronounce your name. Oh well, pronouncing your name is not important right now. Your darling Pokemon. Yeah, they're running away. Go, go, stranger Pokemon. Go be free. Oh, we finally have control of our character. Um, yeah, let me check something real quick. Oh, we can't even pause our game. <laughs> um, well, I guess let's follow the dude. Leventon, Leventon. How are you pronouncing the name? There's a glowing beeping object. Is it a Rotom Pro Max? Rotom Phone Pro Max? It is. Oh wait, no, it's not a Rotom Phone. It's like an Arceus Phone. You feel a strange power emanating from it. I bestow upon thee this Arc Phone and thy mission. Seek out all Pokemon. Oh yeah, that is very important. If you want to ahem, catch Arceus and BDSP, you pretty much have to complete this game, which is why uh, uh, second big reason why I wanted to play through this game. But the Suian Pokemon and getting Arceus. I want to get a shiny one, not just any old one. <sighs> Alas, yet another miss. Aha, I'm glad you've come to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. I tried to catch my little runaways by tossing them Pokeballs, but I'm not the best at this sort of thing. Um, you know what that means, it's up to us. It's up to a tutorial. This one is Rowlet. I chose it in Pokemon Ultra Moon, but I had to transfer it up because I need to complete my Pokedex there, and... It's too annoying to trade, that was before... I realized that you could just use trade bots like Twitch or something. That one over there is Cyndaquil. The fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up whenever it's surprised or it irate. Damn, the visual looks so good. The Pokemon near the pond is Oshawott. Naps while floating in the water and it can battle using the shell-like object on his belly. I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing. How to go about catching Pokemon. Hero my boy, Pokeballs, throw the other Pokemon to catch them. Oh, 50? Can be thrown at wild Pokemon to catch them. These can be crafted by hand if you gather the materials. We can cancel by pressing B? Okay. Oh, we can lock on with... Just like in Scarlet and Violet with the left trigger, we can lock on. Right trigger to catch. Or rather, release the right trigger to catch. We did it! Oh, wonderful. You caught a Pokemon. Oh, we have to catch the other two. We didn't choose our starter? Okay, I thought that's what we were doing. Left trigger, hold the right trigger. And then release the right trigger and they'll throw it. Oh, there's a Rowlet. And we can also sneak by tapping B and we can crouch. Oh, we missed. <laughs> We're too far. No, I was supposed to sneak up on you. Oh yes, I'm afraid that can happen. 
Pokeballs are hardly 100% foolproof. Give it another go. I'm trying to sneak behind you, but we were too far the first time. Oh, we're too far. We're still too far. Okay. No cheap shots for you, I guess. We have to catch you the normal way. Alright, what's our reward? We get a reward for this, right? What a relief. You see, the three Pokemon you caught have only just arrived to the village to help with our research. You mean unpaid labor? That sounds like unpaid labor. Are you able to catch Pokemon so ably when you just arrived? Because we're from the future. We have future knowledge. Wait, why are we showing him this? Seek out our Pokemon. I didn't I didn't read it. The object is an arc phone. What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? Yeah, we're a slave to the phone, pretty much like every other kid nowadays. We in the field called such a catalog a Pokedex. Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon and mine is to have all those Pokemon caught. A situation ripe for teamwork. Okay, but what do I get out of this? What do you say? Sure, why not? I mean, we didn't pay this. $60 game to not get an Arceus eventually. I'll follow him to Jubilife Village. Alright, let's go. What is that? A magical volcano? Yeah, we got connections. We can go wherever we want. So where are we sleeping? It's a really small village. It reminds me of like those old school cowboy cartoon villages. Oh, right there. Our current location, we need to go past the bridge and to the left. You're there, we're supposed to hang out here. We have permission. If you have any anti-loitering policies, forget them. Aren't you awfully suspicious? Is it the color of my skin? Is it cause I'm brown? Is Lati- Right on Latino Heritage Month, no less. I should cancel you. Who are you? I've never seen anyone dressed like you are. What if you were attacked by a Pokemon? You'd be minced meat in those flimsy clothes. If the guard let you through, you must have ties with somebody in the village. Yeah, your Pokemon research person. Laventon? Laventon? Laventon. <laughs> I still don't know how to pronounce it. Does Pokemon do get away from him at times, though? Makes me a bit worried for him. I suppose I'm hardly one to talk. I've had some trouble with Pokemon myself. I was hit by a Pokemon called Thundershock not long ago and, and I had to take to my bed. Wait, called Thundershock? I haven't heard about that Pokemon in the future. Unfortunately, just as Akari says, I'm a clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly. Also, her name's Akari. Professor. Yeah, she didn't even get to introduce herself and you took that opportunity away from her. Opportunity thief. Excuse me, you plan to appoint him to the survey corps? You can't just slap a badge on whoever you like without Captain Silene's permission. Captain Silene's. 
I'll allow it. <gasps> Cats inside leap. Assuming the individual can contribute to the survey corps, that is. I'm the captain of the, Gal the Galaxy Team Survey Corps. You can call me Silene. Oh man, I forgot the antagonist names in BDSP. Jason, was it? Or tonight at least, we'll provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our court. Heck yeah, free housing as well. How's the local government here? Do we just share everything? <laughs> <laughs> Silene, someone's like Captain Silene, somewhat like Hitsui in that they're both quite harsh. She simply puts on a stern front to help us keep us all safe. Sounds like a good quality of a leader. You should be thankful that she's here to protect you. Bid you good night, but you haven't told us where we're sleeping. Where are we sleeping? A rift in the sky, people falling from it. The world is full of mysteries. Hey, that's our mother. We need to know more about our mother, our time rift mother in the sky on top of a volcano. Head to the survey corpse, the housing. That's such a cool loading. Um, Loading graphic logo thingy. Oh no. I'm American. Where are the chairs? Where am I supposed to sit? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alright, let's rest. What just happened? Are oh, you up quite some lightning last night, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm surprised there's not a fire. Thankfully, the heat wave in Cali is over. We are finally looking forward to to fall. At least the weather that comes with fall, because all the leaves have been falling, but it's still been pretty warm. What lovely weather we got! Up you had a nice sleep, even if this land is strange. And new to you. Let's get to headquarters. Captain Silene is waiting. Alright, let's go. Does she have a mission for us? If you wish to join the Gal Galaxy Expedition Team, prove yourself by going out into the Obsidian Fieldlands and catching three different species. Of three specific ones, reduce Starly and Shinx. Oh, you mean like... Route 1 Pokemon, easy. Easy task. Did this stranger not catch three different Pokemon only yesterday? I try should be simple enough for him. Yeah, what the heck? Have some faith in, in us, Akari. We are the... I'm not gonna keep saying it. You know who we are. Are you going to let us? Are you gonna keep talking? Oh, wait. We're choosing our partner Pokemon. Crew. Boom. And... Splish splash. Now, I already spoiled it. I'm gonna choose Oshawott. Which Pokemon would you like to keep? This little guy. Not even close. <laughs> you want Oshawott as your first partner? Heck yeah! Let's go, little buddy. We're gonna conquer the whole world, you and I. And with that, one of the Pokemon you caught at Prelude Beach for, for me will not be yours. Good show. I've took Oshawa back inside Pokeball so you so take it. It's yours. Amazing.
but a curious getup, I can already tell you quite the character. I'm Valo of Grinko Guild. <laughs> then the go-to choice for any of your uh, mercantile needs here in Hisui. I've heard talk about you. Fell from the sky, didn't you? That's certainly a tale I'd like to hear. Oh, and you've a Pokemon. She's certainly full of interesting surprises. Investigating the odd and novel is the key to any good merchant's success. So what do you say? How about you and I see how Pokemon stand up to one another in battle? Um, sure. Please tell me you don't have a grass type. I wouldn't agree to this if I knew you had a grass type. Grinko Guild member Volo challenge you to a battle. Togepi, oh, that's a normal type. Go Oshawa, you don't have a nickname because they didn't let me nickname you. We can move around and tell him to tackle. Oh my goodness, physical attacks. They actually go up to them. That's really cool. I saw that in the trailers. Everyone praised it, including myself. Ouch. Hey, no fair. That's a stab crit tackle. So we come out on top, anyways. Battle decided. Moves items, use them well. Oh, we had we had items? No one told me. It's always good to have your Pokemon do battle, don't you think? As they gain experience through battle, they'll learn more moves and keep growing even stronger. This Pokemon is serious by nature. Okay, but we can nickname you. Oh well. You're Jason, I was informed you'd be passing through. Your trial will take place outside the safety of the village, please. Take care to come back alive. You wish to go to Fieldlands? Catch a Bidoof. The first species you need for your trial. This is Aspiration Hill. The species of Pokemon you're, you're meant to catch all live here. It's so pretty. And here comes Bidoof. Alright, let's go catch it. Alright, let's catch the Bidoof. Can we sneak behind you, please? <laughs> that little firework is cute. You caught a Bidoof. Time to find your next Pokemon. Catch a Starly. Are they by these trees? Oh wait, I just saw one. It just went out of render distance. There's a Starly. They're skittish little things. No run of startled. But you should be able to get close to them if you crouch. It'll be harder to spot. Let's go. That Starly caught as well. Only one more Pokemon to go. Cats and Shinx. Where do these things live? In the flatlands? There's something I ought to teach you since you're still new to this. Here's a proper way to throw your partner's Pokeball. As Captain Silene tells us, have an item at the ready. But want to send out a Pokemon, press X. 
I have a Pokemon at the ready but want to throw an item? Press X. Okay, so you're challenging us to multitask or something? Like throwing your Pokeball, Pokemon's ball at rocks or trees. Investigate. Oh, we can. Is that how we get berries? Oops. I accidentally smacked my headphones. Alright, Oshawott. Get these down. Oh, Oshawa does that. I thought we just throw our partner's Pokeball. Okay, um, pretty sure it'll be easier to claw so I can press L and R and press X at the same time. Yeah, I'm definitely at the claw in this game, don't I? Oh no, this, <laughs> I forgot Oshawa's water type. Um, Aqua Jet, go! Okay, now we can throw a Pokeball. Yeah, throw it. I was trying to get behind it, but I guess there's a cutscene. That's it, you caught the Shinx. Alright, simple enough. You approach those Pokemon without a hint of fear and caught each one. They're like a gift the sky dropped to us. Are you calling us an angel? Thank you, but um don't glaze us too hard. <laughs> Makes me uncomfortable. I don't know how to take compliments very well. Alright, we completed her mission. Now what? I said you passed the trial with flying colors and it seems you did just that. Congrats, you're taking your first steps of seeking and uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> oh we have cameras back then okay with skills like yours i suppose is a, a foregone conclusion hey why don't i take a screenshot i must admit you've surprised you've impressed me i set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like you could be worthy but you cleared it this is yours the official uniform of the survey corps We receive a Survey Corps uniform and a pair of Survey Corps sandals. Get changed in the room you used last night, then you'll report at once to the third floor. Prevent your, present yourself in uniform to our commander. This is your first official order from your captain. Aye aye, captain. Uh, we need to get dressed. Pixelator for a 3D environment. Hey yo, Mr. Mustache Boss, man. You look like a head honcho. I've been waiting for you. Hey, chill out. You're not about to fight us, right? That's what a fighting game antagonist would say. I am Commando. Commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. Oh, Commando. <laughs> not Commando. So you're Hassan. Jason. Yes, sir. Aye aye, Captain. I've been brief on your situation. How you fell from the roof in the sky. Let's see what you're made of. Face me in combat. Um. Charge! <laughs> no way. Hey, that's not fair. We're a 15 year old child and you're a man with mustache. With mustache. Uh, powers you've got bigger and you have a mustache that's literally not fair how are we supposed to win dedicate yourself to the team and complete the pokedex yep that's the plan excuse me <laughs> The entry trial complete. You recall, of course, that Pokemon possess the odd power to shrink down 
With the Pokeballs we cra craft, we can make use of the power to catch them. More Pokemon species can be duly recorded in Pokedex. We received a Pokedex volume for compiling the collected results of much Pokemon research. Professor Leminton continually adds to it with each report made on new Pokemon species. Oh, I love it. It's like an old school book in a form of a menu. We've seen seven, we've caught four. And we can see it right here. Some Pokemon can undergo evolutions. When your Pokemon has met the requirements, you'll be able to select the evolve option. Oh, we can evolve them? Like, by choice? Whenever we want? Not just automatically? That's cool. If you're light on your feet, you can dodge out of the way of wild Pokemon's attacks. That way, hopefully you can avoid taking a beating and walking out in the wilderness. You mean dying? Getting murdered by... Well, not murdered. <laughs> they just kill you. Because... Yeah, they're wild Pokemon. They just kill. I think you've got it, but as a reminder, don't forget to open your Pokedex when you focus on a Pokemon to check your research tasks. It's just the L then down. Yep. One of your tasks is to catch Starly without being spotted, right? Try catching while hiding in the grass. Oh, and it also wants us to, like, see Pokemon use a move, so... We can use our own Pokemon to do that. I just realized that when uh, battling that Bidoof. Caught Starly unaware. 
Can we throw one, like, right away? Did that ghost have boosted catch rate? Please tell me. Nice. Uh, was that good enough? Or were you just telling us some advice? Oh well. Alright, what now? Here, take a reward for keeping up with me. Your own crafting kit. Nice. You can only use the materials you have in your uh, satchel. Oh yeah, we got some apricorns and tumblestones. Turns out you can break those crystal looking things and that's how you get some extra stuff. Some potions? Oh, we can craft potions now. An orange berry and a medicinal leak. We found those. They're kind of... I thought they were like random patches of grass. No. The medicinal leak. As long as you got an apricorn and tumblestone, you can make pokeballs. Or with an orange berry and medicinal leak, you can make potions to heal your Pokemon. Thank you. How goes your research? Cover your Pokedex will tell you if there are tasks you finish and can report. When you submit survey reports, you'll receive money based on the level and number of Pokemon you've caught. You'll receive more money if you fulfill certain conditions, such as catching a species for the first time. On that, lo on that note, let me check the research tasks. No star member. Yeah, we caught this many. Where's Miss Boss Lady? We're ready to move up in the ranks. Celine. You have progress report? I will judge his worthiness. Show me your Pokedex. Yeah, it's right here. Hmm, you made progress. Seems you have earned yourself a star. Thank you, Miss Boss Lady. You've officially attained the rank of first star. You can now use heavy balls. Pokemon up to level 20 will also obey your orders reliably. Oh, we got some more recipes. I was gonna, but I was gonna do that. Oh, the new Pokeball she just mentioned: an Apricorn and a Black Tumble Stone. On oh, revise, I needed those. Vivi chokes and two medicinal leaks. Okay, an item that we don't have access to. That stranger like you should fall from the sky and yet flourish among us. Like this is a testament to your native talent and hard work. Most people prefer it when things are simple enough to be judged on face value alone. And proving you're worthy by moving up through our ranks is something anyone can understand. Keep at it, and even if you did fall from the sky, people may be wo more willing to accept you. Working your way through the ranks will also be a help if you wish to make a life for yourself here. A higher rank will grant you access to more types of Pokeballs and greater rewards. But today at least you earn yourself a meal at the wallflower and a good night's rest. Weren't you approached with a request recently, Akari? What's it all about? I was thinking maybe Jason could handle it for me. I was told it required a bit of skill with battling Pokemon, so Ah oh, yes, the request came from Mai of the Diamond Clan, if I recall correctly. People of the Diamond Clan have lived here in Hisui since before the great Galaxy team arrived. If we could establish good relations, I'm sure there's much we might learn from them. Next day. 
I spent a bit of time after this. It's something I could use your help with. Alrighty, what is it? Was it a Pokemon battle? Thank you, I'll be waiting for you at the training grounds. Got a lot of Pokemon, you may want to visit the pastures to change up your team. Oh, definitely. How do I do that? Thanks for coming. I know you're busy. Listen, I have an epiphany. And that is? You see, I've got a partner on my own. We may not get along perfectly, but we've got work together to help or we've got to work together to help complete the Pokedex. You have a Pokemon? Yes, here's my partner, Pikachu. When we were attacked by the Shinx, I got too scared to think straight and I couldn't handle battling as a team. Ever since then, my partners refused to listen to anything I tell them. Oh, so you need someone to help you put him in his place? No problemo, say no more. When I saw you and your Pokemon work together, I realized we need to do more too. So please, have a battle with me. I want to learn how to fight effectively. Sereko Okari challenge you to battle. Oh no, you're not gonna let us change our elite slot? Okay, Shinx. Shinx got this. Ouch, that hurt a little bit. We do have bite. Heck yeah. And this quick attack should finish you off. And there we go. You and your Pokemon seem to be completely in step with one another. Oh, we got a bunch of XP on everyone. Phew, thank you for battling us. I could be wrong, but for a moment, I felt... Like, Pikachu and I finally understood one another. Let's keep working at it, okay, Pikachu? G guess I was wrong then. I'll strive to work more as a team with my partner, the way you do. Assuming Pikachu and I can bridge some gaps. Oh, by the way, the professor said Pokemon have these things called types, which apparently make a big difference in how battles go. Yeah, an electric, pretty good, uh, mono-electric is pretty good typing. Only weak to ground. All I can do is bite you. Type match. Oh, we even get a chart. Why? How come the main series games don't get this, uh, comprehensive chart? What the heck? Fire types moves are strong against grass. Grass strong against water. Water strong against fire. So you're the one that new recruits everyone were talking about. Who are you? Zisu. Captain of the security corps. I see you've got some fight in you. Figured I'd stop by and give what advice I could. Zisu is a master of an ancient martial art, but or one that specializes in Pokemon battles. Now listen, if your Pokemon's truly master its moves, you can actually use them in different styles. On one hand, you can choose to deliver a move in the strong style. It'll deal more damage, but it'll take longer for your Pokemon to act. Or you can choose Agile. You'll have less power, but your Pokemon can act more quickly after. A truly favorable condition might even get out two moves before the opponent can act. Strong style moves, Agile style moves, and of course, regular. Choose what's right for your given situations. Once your Pokemon has mastered a move, you can have it use the move in Agile or Strong uh, by pressing L and R 
when you're selecting the move. Oh, both use more power points. Okay. If you want to teach your Pokemon powerful moves, let her know. Her teaching will serve you well when you're up against tough Pokemon. You're gonna meet Mai down past the foot of Aspirational Hill. You should come as well. Once you've ready your Pokemon team, perhaps have learn learned some new moves. Yeah, how do we learn some new moves? What do you have for us? And how do we change our team? Training grounds your Pokemon can master or learn new moves. I want new moves. Oshawott. Oh, it costs money. Okay, I am back. Boo! Hey! Why are you trying to give people heart attacks? Did I surprise you? No, but you surprised our avatar. Secret technique to catch me Pokemon. The secret backstrike technique. Hey, this sounds like a cheap shot. Get a wild Pokemon from behind for a higher chance of a successful... Uh, catch or gain advantage when starting a battle. You're part of the survey course. Work to create the Pokedex as they all are. You might end up meeting every last Pokemon here in Hisui. Go to the fields to meet my. There are many strong Pokemon. I can't leave past unless you're first. Oh, at your rank you should be fine. Don't let your guard down. Treat to safety if you find yourself in trouble. Yep. Who are you? Are you the my person that we're here to help? Over here. My, this is Jason. My, my. I do face in the village. Hey, very funny. Not that it matters to me if you're new, but if you're here, I assume you're prepared to be of help. I mean, I'm helping her help you. So, I guess so. I'm one of the wardens of the Diamond Clan. You may call me Mai. I suppose you might not even know what a warden is if you're new to Sui. But such talk can wait. Right now, I'd rather we get straight to the point. Yeah, me too. Too much text dialogue. You have a problem. More important question is this. Do you feel confident that you can lead your Pokemon in battle? Yep. Simple enough. That's good to hear. This is my partner much less. We were raced together like siblings. Battles on my side by choice without needing all any silly little balls like you use. Watch and learn. <laughs> Does that have like a base 5 speed? Okay good, we lead with Shinx who's a physical attacker. Oh you're level 10. I guess all we have to do is bite you. No step tackle. Okay Shinx you're gonna go down, I'm sorry. This thing is, has too much HP. Oh, we have Drift, uh, Drift Blimp. <laughs> it's gonna take forever to, to kill the Munchlax. Oh well. We'll have a free win. Okay, never mind. Forgot what I just said. I'll roll out.
I want you to gain some XP, so I'm going to yeah switch to Bidu. Just tackle this thing. I need this thing at the style. Oh no! It gets two attacks off, man. Fine then. Oshawa, this Aqua Jet should finish things. Oh, you learned Sword Dance. Yo. You didn't tell me you got Sword Dance this early. Come on. You really aren't one of the usual uh, Galaxy buffoons if you could defeat my partner. Yeah, this thing is way too tangy and it gets stab tackle. And it rolled out my driftlet. I did not appreciate that. Oh, we got Vivi chokes for the heavy balls. We can craft them now. In your Pokemon fought well, you practically acted as one. Rather like the legendary hero of old, the one we tell stories of to our children. I think you're indeed the one for the job. You see, I need someone to deal with an alpha Pokemon causing trouble upon Deer Trek Heights. An alpha Pokemon? It's a large fearsome foe like any alpha, but you'll come, won't you? To Deer Trek Heights? Hey, our arc phone is ringing. That thing you have is showing you where to go, isn't it? That's some curious sort of map. Is that one of those galaxy team inventions that I keep hearing about? It certainly does seem to show the way to the deer track heights. I'll leave this in your hands. You'll do great out there. Okay, you're just gonna leave us for dead. I must ask, do you already know about Almighty Sinnoh? Of course. How about that, though? I'm not certain you've been told a true story. The true story is this. Almighty Sinnoh steers all time. Said to have created the very universe using its power over time's flow. And this land of Hitsui was born in the process. It's by the grace of Almighty Sinnoh that... Pokemon can live and thrive here. We of the Diamond Clan are descendants of a people who crossed the sea and settled here in the Hisui region to uh, venerate Almighty Sinnoh. However, it stole away from the world long ago, hiding itself from our sight. Almighty Sinnoh has only rarely been seen by any human. The old tales are to be trusted. But there are still Pokemon here today in Hisui with a connection to Almighty Sinnoh. And it is the duty of wardens like myself to attend their needs. Attend to their needs. A Pokemon that graces Deer Track Heights is one of those honored few. It is directly descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's protection. For me and you may understand. Okay. We need to um, meet the alpha Pokemon. No, get back here. You're a new Pokemon. I missed. Okay, you get away this time. Um, oh, we got healed from that fight. Thank thankfully. Yo, why? <laughs> Just come and fight me, you're a crabby bug type. Okay, I guess that's why you're running, but... I need research. Alright, we're here. Where's this alpha Pokemon that you speak of? Oh, so even your professor decided to join us. What are you doing here? Who invited you? You, thank goodness I got here in time. 
As a Pokemon researcher, I hardly miss out on a chance to learn Alpha. Now, could I? I suppose that that is your business. Fine. As long as you stay out of the way. This is Deer Track Heights. This is where I've uh, long come to pay tribute to a special Pokemon. A Pokemon descended from one of those ancients blessed by Almighty Sinnoh. No way. <laughs> That's not it. That's only a troublemaker here to disturb the peace with his racket. Oh. His eyes are red. And it has the most beautiful epic cry. Wow. How melodic. I'll ensure your Pokemon are ready for the battle. Thank you. Upon my word, what a large specimen. Little wonder alpha Pokemon are feared across the land if they're all as oversized as this one. Exactly, they're not only big though, they are strong and no and may know moves that others of their kind do not. Hey, that's cheating. I believe you are stronger still than this alpha. So go show it that beyond any mistake. Be careful, sizes. A potent weapon in of itself. Alpha Pokemon. A Pokemon whose eyes glow red are called Alpha Pokemon. Alpha Pokemon are larger than others and main no moves that are rare for their species. They appear to be difficult to catch. And I believe they have a mark when you catch them and they have the ability to be shiny. I don't know. I hear people obsess over shiny Alpha Pokemon. Which, eh, I don't care. Maybe in a second playthrough. Maybe. No, I'm not a shiny hunter, but... Um, it is a bug type, but our fire type's level 6. Whatever, we'll just lead with Oshawott. What, do we just go up to you, or do we throw something? All right, let's battle. Ashwa, I need to nickname you after I found out how to. Press the Y button to check the action order of all Pokemon. The action speed is based on the speed set, but it can be affected by certain moves and items. A Pokemon with high action speed may act multiple times in a row. <gasps> Ouch! Okay. So we can fight. <laughs> There's no way you're gonna live. Um. Yeah, let's just off the jet. Sorry, Oshawott. Oh, we should have Swords Dance and Aqua, Aqua Jet. Or would that not have been optimal? No. And I forgot to craft revives. Oh, Starly can hit it pretty hard with Aerial Ace. Alright, Starly. Youth kill. <gasps> no way. Okay. We can see the turn order. It's gonna be Starly next. And we don't need Aerial Ace, but... We can Aerial Ace and then quick attack if we needed to, but... That's enough. <laughs> I'm sorry, Oshawott. I didn't know... You lost out on so much XP. You really are an impressive one, aren't you? Seeing someone best an alpha like that truly reminds me of the legendary hero of old. What hero? If we're in the past and this is a hero of old, that must be such a... A, a hero from such a long time ago, excuse me. 
Oh my goodness, what is that sound? It's the great weird deer. Weird deer. It's weird deer. Hey, stand back. You're in our personal space. He looks upon you with kindness, Jason. Really? I couldn't tell. I say the great uh, weird deer has taken a liking to you. That is fortunate. He's an esteemed Pokemon that can dash across the ex expanses of his suyo while bearing a human on his back. A human he deems worthy, at least. He is a blessing to us all. Remarkable, truly outstanding stuff. A wide like riding Pokemon or Lola? No, Lola does exist here. Professor Leventon. Jason. Captain Salim sent me. He said that once Jason carried out his request, we'd be able to set up base camp. Oh, like a checkpoint? About that. I know this was a joint decision by uh, Ottoman and the commander, but still. Is it truly fine for us to set up more base camps like this? The Hisui region is a land created by Almighty Sinnoh for the sake of its Pokemon. As long as your goal is to coexist and thrive together with Pokemon, I imagine you should be allowed to use this land. The great weird deer has taken a liking to Jason as well. This is a good sign. Alright, time to colonize this place. I like that just the mental gymnastics. Let's set up a gas station and a McDonald's and a Walmart. If we want to coexist and thrive with Pokemon, we need to stop fearing them and start getting to know them better. That starts with complete, completing the Pokedex. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna worry about that once I'm a high enough level. So I could false swipes for everything. If, um, if I could do that in this game. Here we have it, our new base camp. From now on when you set out to the village, you can be, asked to be escorted to this camp. Having another base camp to start will be a great help. Yep. More new Pokemon around here. Nice work today, everyone. Let's say we all head back to the Wallflower. Yeah, uh, I only caught one Pokemon. It's such a pretty menu, bro. Why, why can't the? I hope the next Pokemon games um a lot like this. The menus are so pretty. All right. Can we save yet? No, we're gonna eat, or at least our avatar is gonna eat. I'm hungry, which, uh, which is why I asked, because I need to eat. Have you all heard the great news? That frenzy cleavor from the rumors ended up modeling some of uh, our galaxy folks. What? Who went out to investigate this? They're dead? Oh, they had a hard time getting all the injured back on their feet. Okay, so nobody died. Thank goodness. Is it the cleaver that was probably struck by powerful lightning? Yes, I did hear he's been behaving most erratically since then. Still, if further investigation is in order, the record will, of course, step up to the task. Okay, okay, okay. Too much dialogue. Too much dialogue. <laughs> Good morning. You should hurry to the commander's office before he decides to put to use you for sumo practice. Oh no, what what the heck does he want? Well 
it's gonna have to wait because I'm gonna end off the episode here. Thank you for watching and I guess in the next episode we're gonna try not to get used for sumo wrestling practice. Okay, uh, once I figure out how to save... Oh, there we go.